performing a quarter end close or year end close in payroll is performed through the period end menu. Under period end, you would first want to make sure that you've completed everything for your quarter. So an example, if we were in quarter one, we want to make sure that all of our governmental report were run as well as our quarterly 941s were run. We have all of that backup information. Prior to closing, it is best for you to make a backup copy of your company. It's recommended to do it at every quarter. However, it's highly recommended to do it at a minimum of year end. The way that you can copy your data in order to have a nice backup prior to closing would be to go into company maintenance and create a new company that you can transfer some of the data to. Under Library Master, under your main folder, we're going to go to Company Maintenance. We're just going to say, as an example, we're making a backup of year-end in order to have a full year-end backup copy prior to beginning our next year. A lot of times we need to do that because we're not quite ready to print our W-2s yet, so we can access this backup copied company to print our W-2s at a later time. That way we can close our current company and move on and process our first payroll for the new year. I'm going to create a company code and I'm just going to call it Q, 4, and 0. And what that represents to me is fourth quarter for the year of 2010. So maybe I am closing my calendar year out at 2010 and I'm rolling into calendar year 2011. I'm going to tell it to activate. It's letting me know I do have to save my company, so I'm going to say yes to save that. And we're going to actually create this fourth quarter company, and we're going to say we want payroll, we need general ledger, and we need common information. That's all that we're going to be putting into this company. We're going to tell it to proceed so it goes ahead and activates those three modules for us. Once those are activated, we can see them at the bottom of our screen, we're going to now tell it to copy. What we're going to do, I'm going to say OK to that because we did select all the proper modules, is we're going to copy from our live company. So in our example, we're using company ABC. So we're going to copy ABC's data into our Q4 company. However, we do not need all of these modules. So I'm going to unselect all and say, I just need payroll. And the system knows I also need to have general ledger and common information whenever I'm copying payroll. So I'm going to tell it to proceed. And we're going to copy all data files into our destination company. So now, company code Q40 has the, an exact screenshot of all of my payroll, all of my general ledger, and all of my common information from my live company. Now I can move forward and in my ABC company, I can close my year, process that calendar year close, move on to start my next payroll for 2011, and I can always access company Q40 to run my W-2s. Now that I have a good backup, and all of that can be performed while users are in the system, they're not they're required to exit to perform a copy function. So now that I have a good backup, and I've run my quarterly reports, I've run my 941s, now I can go into my period end processing. Within period end processing, you would want to make sure that you are closing the proper quarter. Now granted, in our example, we were closing at the end of the year, but our current process, we are currently in quarter two. If I told this to do a quarter end processing, and tell it to proceed, it's going to close quarter two and open up quarter three, which I now could then process my payroll for the third quarter. What that's also going to do, it's going to clear out all of my quarter to date totals that are on my employee maintenance files and allow them to be emptied out to start calculating the values for the third quarter. If I did quarter end and year end processing, it's just giving me a warning to make sure I would have done my W-2s, but again, I can access my backup company to do so. When I hit proceed for my year end, if I was performing it at year end, it's also going to remove all of my terminated employees. If I'm not retaining perpetual history, it's going to remove all of my current year's history. So it will perform a few functions for you at year end in order to clear out those files to get you started for a brand new calendar year. 
You also, under period end processing, can just tell it to consolidate check history or purge perpetual history. These two functions can be done at any time. The main functions that you would be doing for your period end is running quarter end processing or quarter and year end processing. Another function that is available in period end is federal e-filing and state e-filing. This is a function that's now been, become available in version 4.3 and higher. This is a service that you can use to actually e-file all of your federal reporting and all of your state reporting. If you are interested in performing those functions, you would simply install the federal and state e-filing from the CD on the workstation that needs to perform those functions. To actually e-file those forms, you can simply contact the Atrix website to get a little bit more information on how to e-file, what those costs are, and help you actually perform a little more automation in your business in regards to processing things via e-filing to save you some time in filling out those forms and sending them in.